Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. In the last part we came to this Blit Blysworth Blitzentorg place on Terra 2. We talked with the prep The Acropolis oh, district is off limits. Move along. I have to get in there. Wait. Does that mean I'm gonna pay? I'm pretty tired after hauling all these bits. What in the law's name are you on about? Mm. Yeah, fuck it. Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. Thank you. Goodbye. How much money do I even have? Eh, yeah, I got a good amount. So, I talked with, um, Minister Clark to try and get some drugs so I can free the people on the Hope ship the colony and now I gotta go to sure his other business partner in my entire life felt more out of place than I do at this moment oh you're talking I thought that was her I was like what are you talking about hello welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation board today's greeting is brought to you by Auntie Cleo a subsidiary of Colway Pharmacy. how is Auntie Cleo everywhere she's like the McDonald's of Halcyon I, mean, I guess I could just go. I have to go through Where is it? Up there? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, what's through here? Say your business. Uh. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. That's what you want to hear when you ask, "What's your business?" Uh. Oh, the access card. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers, but this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Are you kidding me? It's procedure. Do you know how many weapons well, I have? let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? How are people in this entire game so bad at printing stuff? First it was pamphlets. Now it's forms. Oh, what a shame. You don't have to be sarcastic about it. Yeah, I kind of do. Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Thank you. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny and they'll paint the walls with your guts. What is dervish mist? Is that like a drug? Is that the drug I'm trying to go after? Imagine if I had to take your guys' guns too in those forms. That would have been like so many guns. Imagine if like you could have gone print out the forms for him. You could sit there, you have to like sign each form. I wouldn't be surprised if they made that a mechanic. I'm allowed to have my gun. Oh, oh, he's got a green one. Buddy, look, I got a yellow one. That's not it. That's it. Doesn't it look awesome. Move along. Okay. They had a green one too. They're all having green ones. Hello. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Do I care what he does here? Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. Rockwell, I'm that's what I'm looking for. For organizing the adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. He had some very tight glasses. Ah. Oh, <laughs> you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? Uh, I guess that's it for you. Can I go in here? A UDL security attendant is always prepared. That's sealed? I mean, I guess I could fight my way in there. Okay, oh, whoa, what happened here? Excuse me, just a moment. Shh. Is there something I can do for you? He doesn't see me. He saw me. One person gets all this space just to, to sign papers all day? What is this? Oh, terminal. 
few messages. Print minister key card. Sure. Did I need that? Accuracy and morale key. Oh, I need that for the truck. What is this? Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Right now, subtitles. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. <laughs> but I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Hey, wait, you did that to me. Oh, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest this. minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. <laughs> and someday, in the not too distant future, when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again, working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals. And rest assured, with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Well, you make it sound nice, but then you see the reality. That was all a story, wasn't it? It's not real. Guess the whole colony's up a creek. I thought it was just mono. Where are they? All right, well, there's other stuff. Oh, yeah, that's just Earth. You're welcome, Clark. Personal stuff. Uh, you all can read this. Massage. I have more reputation decreased. Who cares? Food, people, or food reserves. Okay. Now, will they let me back out of here? Is there like a secret path I could take out? I'm really surprised nobody's stopping me right now. They just let me walk in there. I'm guessing this was, um... Oh, hey guys. This was Clark's office. Why is there a hole in the wall? That's what I want to know. Okay. I beg your pardon. Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. I won't be long. I'm just admiring the architecture. What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought oh, God, of his someone hands else's hands touching my custom letterheads. Oh, now your letterheads. Okay, now that he's taken care of, is there anything else in here? Eh, I think that's everything. No safe or anything. Nope. Some chips. Okay. Got the key. We sent out the thing. Let's leave. This is all going a lot easier than I thought it would. That's why in these games you gotta level up all your dialogue. You just skip right past the fighting. Save your time. See, dude, no problem. No one died. At least you didn't hear any alarms. I just wonder why that video played when it did. Like, what was the point of it? I guess, like, it was his message to, like... Oh, wait. Nope. Gotta be back in here. It was his message to, like, the people. Like, hey, we gotta do this. Save ourselves. All that. But, like, what was all the bloopers and stuff? I wonder if that version got leaked online. Made him look like a fool. They heard him say the F word. And the S word. What a nice place. 
Oh, where is that? Below me. Okay. What, what, what is this place? Where am I? Hello. Move along. Okay. It's a bit shocking I can just go anywhere I want. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Uh, I am Rockwell? You clearly don't know who I am. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Ooh, I can intimidate. Or I could, if I had high enough. I'm just looking in, okay? There's a lot of guards in there. Is nobody guarding this door? Okay. What's in here? Oh! Why is everything too low? Alright, let me see if I can sneak through. I will change my armor though. Something more sneaky like. Uh, apparently I don't have any. Oh, uh, that's minus five stealth. So, get rid of that. Alright, let's try this out. Nope. Man, they instantly saw me. Okay, we're fighting. Maybe if I leave this place, I won't realize I was in here. Oh, there's a lot of people. Come here, you. Oh, these are the tough ones. I mean, do I really care that I'm not with the board or friends with the board? This guy's not even trying. Thank you. Oh. Jeez, look at all those reds. Oh boy, this ain't gonna be good for me, is it? So who saw me, like, immediately? Like, they didn't even give me a chance. Could you stealth your way through this? Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay right here in case this still doesn't work. Load back to that quick save. And just see if I can somehow stealth my way through. I got to have something that would help. Because they like fucking... Oh, that person. Do I have like any of these meds can help me? Like invisibility? Wow, nothing here helps me? Really? All that stuff, you would think something. What can you guys go in there? No problem. I'll head over. Can you distract? Sure. On my way. Somehow they're allowed in there. As soon as that person looks away, I'm going for it. I'm going. One day together! Yep, okay. Screw it. If you could somehow get that other person to look away, you probably definitely could have snuck through. Uh-oh, there's a lot more people here. There's scientists. Restricted area again. What's this I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157? That batch failed spectacularly. 
I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the tech run the trial again. And the yep. results were 0.003% different. Did he go in here? I'll try and stealth my way along this as much as I can. Uh oh. No one else was alerted? Okay. Also, thankfully companions can't get caught. Because they just walk around like idiots. I didn't even know you could do that. Don't know where this is going to take me. Down even lower, huh? Oh, wait. That's yeah, just the floor below me. I don't need to go there. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any guards in here. How do I get down? Is there a way down other than jumping? How? Okay, uh, I'm guessing this is it. Is there anything in there? Oh, computer. Transfer to canister. Procedure may result in invalidation of experiment results and death of human test subjects. Continue. Uh, should I transfer all of it or just some of it? What's he doing here? Hmm. Huh. And some more lore. Sorry, guys. Got a lot more important stuff to worry about. Ah, right, level up. Finally. Oh, the exit. Will this just take me up? Into like a clear zone. Central lab. Where's this take me? I think I'm in the clear. Now hopefully the rest of everybody doesn't start attacking me. I should be good. No one's attacking me yet. Let me level up. Let me just go with dialogue, just because I fear what's going to happen next. Or continuing forward, because it requires a lot of points now. And, uh, this one. Oh, shit. No companions. Well, don't think anything else would have helped that much. Okay, let's... Can I fast travel back? Don't want to go running through the streets with like a jar of like this drug acid in my hands. Okay, Phineas, got your stuff. I have you have oh. a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. Who are you? And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. Thank you. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. It's a long now time that ago. was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. You walked through Edgewater and in your wake transformed it from a loyal company town to a haven for dissidents. I'm actually a little impressed. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. Alright, you're well informed. Can we move along this? You have something I want. 
I'd like to negotiate. Your people need better security. Anybody could have lifted those chemicals. Yes, I'm aware that you stole. I'm gonna assume she's from the board. and destroyed an important experiment. Enterprising of you, if irritating. My scientists tell me they'll restore the damage you've done within a matter of months. But I'm not here to talk about minor setbacks. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Well, uh, what did he do? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. I mean, I still don't kind of like him. I don't trust him. But... I want to know why he's doing this. The answer is no. We're done here. Hold on. Getting a lot of noise on this signal. Can you fuck off and never call back? You are making a serious mistake. I'm going to stick with Wells. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's get out of here. Let's go see Phineas. Also, if anything now, Phineas should be grateful to me that I didn't rat him out. Alright, I got your stuff. I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Bring back your chemicals for a second. The colony's on the verge of collapse. What? Oh, yes. Well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working labs can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. The chairman is planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. Hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. Fair chemicals, just so you know. Human test subjects. Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. I had to let them die, but I brought back all the chemicals they had. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? Ooh, I'm a science. The board's trying to migrate damage to human tissue during the revival process. permanent damage? Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. Focus, Phineas. Alcyon's gonna collapse unless we do something. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Is 
So that's it. We just give up. All that trouble I went through was for nothing. That was a lot of trouble, too. No. No, it wasn't. We have... Well, let's see. We, we have at least some of the chemicals. We have your ship, and we have you. Let us account for something. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists. The brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. Then we should get moving. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. And I got a ship. I'm a science guy. There's a way. It's not exactly safe, but we can skip the Hope into the system. Can we do that remotely? Oh, I'm an engineer. The hope's probably damaged. We'll have to route power from the unreliable. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. I do have some questions. Certainly. How can I help? I got a question what the... what the board said to me. You know skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. Skip drives were never designed to be used in a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. I remember that scene, that right? Is, it I ruined really my didn't. ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. That sounds sarcastic. Are people going to notice that gigantic colony ship slamming into the rings? Unlikely. The hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker. But compared to the rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. <laughs> and any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Okay. I'm ready. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers, scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. The board are now angry. Oh no. If we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Uh, Dara talks about the hope? Certainly. How can I help? Uh, new questions? Nope. Okay, Phineas. We're gonna do this. Me and you. Mostly me, though. You save them. I'll do all the other work. So if you make, like, a community angry enough, will they just attack you on sight? Like, if I go back to Byzantium, or whatever it's called right now, will they just shoot me on sight? Like, there he is! I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Do you argue against that, Ada? No back talk. Okay. Oh, wait, I thought we'd do that from here. We have to go to the Hope? Oh. Halcyon's second colony ship arrived damaged and decades beyond schedule. 
Its crew had long since perished and its frozen colonists were unable to be revived. Let's go. We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Doesn't sound good. Or the sun. That's worse. Forgetfulness can be an early warning sign of asphyxiation due to loss of pressurization. Are you breathing comfortably, Captain? I need sure. you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay. There's the hope. My friends, I'm coming back in the next part. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to ever down below, leave a like, subscribe, share. I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.